Two, three. All right, guys. One of the um, <clears throat> workers here, Gio, he bought this 350Z, but it's not automatic. It's a HR swap. Uh, it was tuned by somebody else from uh, out of state, and he didn't want their tune. The car was idling high. Um, he said it was kind of like sputtering. So we deleted the tune since it's just on a uh, stock injectors 91 uh, regular in regular standard size intakes um, so we deleted the tune and now it just idles normal so yeah this one um, I believe he might change some parts on it and then we're gonna get it retuned by me mm. yeah. <laughs> guys this is Jesse trying to hide uh, we have the Busta DE came back for a little bit more boost and uh, rear mount I'm sorry it's not a DE wow how disrespectful it's a HR rear mount um, last time it was on five pounds and now I believe it's around 12 pounds Test driver right now before it starts raining again. All right, guys, I have this uh, 2010, yeah, 2010 370Z. So, this guy here, I tuned this car. Um, I believe a year ago. I believe recently this guy misshifted. Um, I'm not sure if this is the correct gear, but I believe he was top of third going into fourth. Then he went to second. And you know, well, obviously, money shifting. <laughs> shot a rod, <clears throat> shot a rod through the block. And he got another motor. And now since all the the performance parts are the same, but it's a different motor, so every engine is different you know especially now like they're you know the the cars are not new so um we're gonna go ahead and retune it and then after that let them know once it's done let them know you know um the differences between the motors you know which one's better and then that's it with this 370z here and after this one i have a g37 coupe that i'm gonna tune um which they're gonna load it after this one's done What's up guys, I have this 08 G37, five speed. The car was tuned by me five years ago and uh, now it's misfiring. So uh, the shop here finally found the issue, of course, you know, we, they specialize in VQs. So this other shop near his area where he lives, um, they told me they spent about $4,000 in diagnostics and parts and it's still misfired. Um, this sh other shop seems like uh, they're, I think they're like a performance shop, but they might do different types of cars. So it's not just one, um, you know, like a chassis specifically or same type of motor, like Z and G's, VQ's. Man, I'm going through the receipts right here because he keeps basically he, the owner keeps telling me to, to look through it because I guess of the amount. Because I finally called him and told him we found the problem and it's literally like it was almost nothing. Um, they changed a lot of stuff and to be honest, to be fair with, they did um, change some things that would have to do with misfiring. But going through the receipt, it just looks like they just started changing random parts at one point and charging the customer for it. So. <clears throat> uh they changed a good amount of things and i'm going through their prices and i was like damn they charge a lot for stuff they charge them 1200 dollars for stock injectors and to be honest they look kind of used i don't know if they're new or not that i have no idea maybe they are maybe you know they already got a little dirty I think it's impossible for for us to know so but they they do look used so they charge them 1200 for that um, they, they could definitely be new obviously like I said we we have no idea but anyways 
they charge them $313 to remove the injectors, the old ones, the old stock ones, and put the uh, other set of stock ones on there. Um, George here charges way less than that. I believe just the injectors alone is probably almost at least no more than half the price of that. I think it's even less than half of that. Um, but you know, every shop charges different. Um, so like I said, uh, it seems like, yeah, they were changing some, some good, good things on here. It's just, they're probably not like VQ specialists. Just missed a couple things. So not too bad to be on. But anyways, yeah, they spent about $4,000 and we found the problem basically um in a few days uh whenever they got to work on the car and <laughs> the price george charged them is not even six hundred dollars to fix it so but you know i'm pretty sure he wanted to bring it here first just he lives pretty far so pretty sure he's gonna start bringing it here if he has any issues but other than that five years later and the, the motor is still good that's crazy right well no it shouldn't be <laughs> as long as you go to a good tuner and then after that literally you just have to do regular maintenance you know these other tuners like oh you have to do good maintenance what what maintenance like what do you want them to do like there's you could only do like oil changes and that's it you know so maybe spark plugs whatever but as long as you do like some basic stuff like just make sure it has oil and that's pretty much it sometimes i'll get cars and i tune them and the spark plugs literally looked like they were dropped from like the titanic and then picked back up and put in their car and i was still able to tune in and get power out of it um so a lot of these tuners will blame the customer which yeah i would say half of the time that's true but the other half you know pretty sure it's the other tuners what's up guys i have this 07 350z uh this motor is built um by another shop uh I believe they don't do too many VQs to be honest from what I was told and um, this car is tuned by the, someone in uh, what is it the Lan Lancaster Palmdale area and uh, the car just sputters uh, they try to retune it a few times but I guess it's, it's just still sputtering it's actually on stock injectors uh, so built motor cams Tomei 274 cams um, the the other guy the other the person from palmdale the lancaster did not even ask him uh the lift on the cams or anything any extra details on that so when i asked him all the info the owner of this car was pretty surprised that i was even asking him that and he said the other guy didn't even ask him anything uh so you can't even go full throttle um first pull is a red one it just sputters right away the third one it it just sputtered again i just went a little bit further to see what would happen if I try to bypass the sputtering or just keep going, but it just it do, it doesn't work. Um, according to the log, they did not even tune the cams, which is very, very dangerous. Um, the valve can strike the the valve can strike the piston. So how do I know that? Because I logged it. I logged it even from there. Um, from what I was able to take it at first about 3,000, and then I took it to 3,800 RPM. Um, it's still all the stock settings for the cams on the intake and exhaust. So that, that's not good. Hopefully the, the valve hasn't striked the piston already before. Uh, but yeah, this guy uh, just, he wants his car running right. So he spent a lot of money getting his motor bill and on the parts. And you know, we're, we're gonna see. Either it's a tune or the build or both uh, or something else. Um, we're gonna find out. All right guys. So I got the car to stop sputtering. Uh, so that obviously had to do with the tune but unfortunately the car is not really producing any power it's only making 270 obviously the car is the motor is built um, with cams and valves and it's not producing any power it's basically making like stock to like a little bit of bolt-ons um, HR so on this one um it's two things out of the other tuner already messed up this built motor for him which he paid a lot of money uh he just told me right now and because uh, i went to go explain everything to him i mean he seemed pretty happy that it doesn't sputter anymore but i told him well the other news is you know <laughs> the motor's probably not good anymore 
so uh, it might have been the other tune that caused it maybe it's not built correctly uh, it also actually kind of sounds like one of the valves might be leaking so we don't know obviously we didn't work on this car we didn't build it I don't know if that's what it always was if it was after the tune the other tune from the other person we have no idea but this is what's going on with this one uh, and if you're curious yes uh, he still has to pay which he already paid you paid before the tune so this you know has nothing to do with us uh, at least it doesn't sputter anymore um, and then I'm pretty happy about that but uh, I was hoping to see some good numbers but yeah <laughs> something's definitely wrong with the motor and uh, I believe it's already too late for him to take it back. I don't even know if they offer warranty. Most shops do not offer warranty for Bill Motors. Maybe like, you know, just make sure it starts. It doesn't make any weird noises. But uh, I think he had this built almost a year ago by the other shop. So yeah, he's kind of out on that. So we did. I did give him some ideas, some options. Uh, he has multiple options. Um, it's just up to him, you know, and his budget. So uh, hopefully, you know, maybe he can get another motor and at least swap over the cams um, and uh, the bottom end. So I'm pretty sure the bottom end is good. The problem is going to be in the heads. Something's wrong right there. But there's no knock or anything, no weird noises. So, yeah, gonna going to be something with the heads. Uh, it's already messed up, unfortunately. Sorry, I'm doing something on the computer. But yeah, so that's it for this one here. What's up guys, I have this 2015 370Z, six speed sport. The owner, she brought the car in because, uh, well, the motor got seized up, brought the car in, well, obviously she towed it in, and then they took the motor out. <laughs> uh, water, a bunch of water came out uh, from the header, from the exhaust manifold, uh, once they pulled the motor out, and then what they did was they, they manually tried to crank it and uh just water kept shooting out of it so safe to assume it hydro locked with water it didn't smell like gas but here's the weird thing so this car as far as we know from what she told us unless there's missing information the she already bought it tuned she doesn't know who tuned it but it did have bigger injectors so it, it is on 91 fuel and they did the motor swap and you know they use the same injectors obviously same computer and they turn it on and it was just dumping too much fuel so they when they pulled injectors out the she had some 750s from some somewhere else another uh company and uh, i believe a f two or three of them were leaking so we don't have that size here so the best thing we could do is just put the stock ones on and retune the car so now it has stock injectors, it has still in Gen 3 intakes, stock injectors, it's on 91, it has dual exhaust. And I'm almost done with the tune. It's at 308 wheel horsepower. So the motor, the new motor is pretty good actually. Uh, she got the motor here from George. It's a pretty healthy motor. And um, yeah, so we're gonna see what it makes. BCM reprogramming this one was kind of difficult to do I don't know if there's like specific ways to do it uh, by that I mean maybe the the ignition has to be on um, or not so somehow it just started working I did try it three times so this one there's a, a new BCM on this car like brand brand new from the dealer so it has to be programmed for the car um, so this car is automatic, uh, this VHR is automatic and, um, well, it came at, the BCM came as a manual, uh, came as a manual or it could be that, um, no, yeah. So the, the BCM, uh, they basically got the, the wrong part number. So it's the right year and obviously all the plugs are the same, but there's, there's a memory inside of it, obviously. Um, so 
this was most likely uh, the part number for a six speed instead. So I just programmed it for automatic, but honestly, it was kind of difficult for me to do since it was the first time actually uh, program programming everything in there. Uh, so I'll, hopefully I don't have to do this again because I don't know how I got it to work, but I got it to work. So now um, it's programmed for automatic.